Shanghai is one of the best places in the world to eat some really amazing food. And today we're going to be trying out five completely different restaurants that really capture the spirit of Shanghai. From more local, casual Shanghaiese fare to some fancy dining. Let's eat. So this is Jianguo 328. It's a small, popular Shanghai's restaurant that's named after its location, and they make some pretty damn tasty dishes. All right, so we got one of the most iconic Shanghai's dishes. This is Hong Shao Rou, braised pork with chestnut and quail egg. Let's try it. Mmm. So I've got all three things in my mouth right now: the egg, the meat, chestnut. It goes so well together with the sauce. I just, I just think it would go amazing with the bowl of rice. You got some rice over here. So this is a scallion oil noodles. It's got three ingredients. Obviously, the scallion oil. We got spring onion, some dried scam pea. And you can have this any time of day. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Let's try it. No joke. This is really good. So simple, yet so delicious. This could definitely fill me up. Daemon is located on the famous Bund. This place is really cool. It looks like Hong Kong from the 80s with the neon signs. We got a Hong Kong money coaster. They also serve up some reinvented Canto classics, and I'm from Hong Kong myself, born and raised. So let's see if the food lives up to my expectations. All right, so I got some pretty interesting xiaolong baos here with flavors I've never seen on any menu. I'm gonna go for the most interesting looking one. Let's try this chili crab. The spiciness is starting to come. It's really different, obviously, from the traditional xiaolong bao, but it still has that very soft meat. It's my first time eating a spicy xiaolong bao. I've been eating xiaolong bao my whole life. It goes really well together. All right, so now we got this cha siu bao. It's like a barbecue pork bun, but inside a pineapple bun, which is like a sweet bun with barbecue meat inside. Mmm. Oh, there's so much meat in there. I feel like I'm eating half dessert and half savory. No, oh, it's really good. Thank you. So this is the clay pot rice, very Hong Kong. And uh, instead of maybe chicken feet or the usual pork, we got ham, Spanish ham, and we got an egg yolk. And he just poured in some lard as well as soy sauce. So I'm gonna mix it all up and see how it tastes. Let's try it. As you all know, I'm a rice lover. It goes really well together, especially with the soy sauce and a bit of the the fat. Although clay pot rice is also known for being really kind of burnt and crispy on the side because it's cooked in a clay pot. This one lacks that quality, but it's still a little crispy on the side. It's delicious. This is Jia Jia Tang Bao, one of the best places, if not the best place, apparently, to have Xiaolong Bao in Shanghai. They specialize in pork and crab xiaolong bao. These are a bit trickier than your average dumplings. What you do, you dip it in the vinegar sauce, you bite the side, drink the soup, and then eat the whole thing. All right, so now we got this pork and crab, and look at the color. You can just see the crab dominating this dumpling. You can feel like a powdery kind of crab, because in Chinese, it is crab powder. It feels very seafoody, and you kind of lose the pork in it. But this one's a perfect balance. All right, now we got the pure crab dumplings. These massive, massive dumplings. Wow, this is full on, so much soup. Each dumpling is like a bowl of soup in itself. I'm literally just drinking soup. Mm. These are all so amazing. I was gonna have one more, then uh, on to the next place. Can we get it going? So, Hakkasan serves Cantonese food with the Michelin star. So this one looks pretty familiar. It looks like a hagao, which is a traditional Cantonese shrimp dumpling, except this one's got lily bulb inside, and it obviously looks a little bit fancier. Let's try it. This one really reminds me of home. The shrimp is so fresh, you know, it's still, it's still crunchy to your mouth, and oh, this, this sauce is honestly my recommendation for any dim sum. Next, we got a pretty interesting dish. It's like a fun-sized Peking duck pancake. Pancake, the cucumber, scallion, sauce, Peking duck. But this one is topped with some extravagant caviar. 
What's coming out the most flavor-wise would be the caviar. The saltiness kind of takes over, but in a good way. Normally when you have Peking duck, you taste the, the sweetness of the sauce that kind of overpowers things, but this one's got a nice balance with the meat and the caviar. I'm really interested. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is a chicken dish. They just pumped some smoke in there. It's been smoked in jasmine tea leaves, so let's open it. Ooh, that's really cool. Oh, the leaf smells really strong. The look of it really reminds me of Dadzi Gai from, from home. So let's see if it tastes similar. Whoa. So it's such a strong, smoky flavor. I've never had any chicken that tastes like this before. You should definitely try this one. I'm gonna go for more. Super Hip Xin Tian Di, and this is CC Bistro where they do a pretty unique combination of Italian and Chinese food. It's all pretty new to me, so let's try it and find out if it's weird or if it works. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this one because it's got rice on it. Although that's not the type of rice I'm used to. This is crispy rice on top of some mapo tofu. But instead of having meat with the mapo tofu like the traditional way, it's just tofu. Hope it's not too spicy. Let's go for it. You know what? Surprisingly really good. I'm not getting any feel like a Rice Krispie feel. It just feels more like a crispy tofu. It's quite spicy, but it works really well together. So next we got this Hong Shao Terrine Sushi Box Bento Box. Let's try it. Oh, I love it. This is really weird, like, um, a good weird, like a mix of for like Japanese, Chinese, French, Italian. I just love simple rice and meat combination. It works so well together. It's a really fun dish. Okay, so I've probably eaten better in this video than in my entire life. I spent the entire week visiting different type of restaurants. If I had to choose my favorite though, I'm not being biased here, but Daimon would be my pick. I mean, you go in, you see the Hong Kong neon signs, they had such thoughtful decor. You think it's the traditional type of Hong Kong style food, but it's actually got surprise elements to each one to keep you on your toes. So I'd definitely go back for that clay pot rice. Okay, I uh, think I'm done eating. Gonna go get a drink at the bun, so see y'all later. <laughs>